Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission showcase video. We have a real treat for you today. We've got some Craft World Elder painted in the Yandan Craft World scheme, really cool models and also some characters to have a look at when we're back in a minute. If you're new to the Siege Studios YouTube channel, then here at Siege Studios, we are a UK-based premium commission miniature painting service with 28 painters who all paint from our introductory bronze above tabletop level all the way up to our platinum competition entry quality as well. Uh, if you are interested in a quote, then very simply, all you need to do is head to the description of this video where it says get a quote. Click on that link, it will take you directly to the Siege Studios uh, website and our contact form. What that will then do is need you to complete all the, the relevant sections and the drop-down options applicable to your commission and in the message section include a list of models in our model list format, which is also shown on that contact form. Once that's fired up to us, then we'll come back to you with a quote and we can get the process started. We're back in a second to have a look at these really cool models in more detail. See you guys back in a sec. So first up, we're gonna have a look at the characters from this Yandan Craftworld Elder commission. Two very cool characters, an Autark on jet bike on the left and Prince Uriel, the man, the legend himself on the right. We'll start with Prince Uriel, really, really cool model. This is a fine cast version as well, which is really nice. Just get that to focus for you guys. You can see right from the get-go, you can see Fletcher's done a stellar job just picking out all of those little details across Prince Uriel, uh, little gems and lenses all fully painted. Uh, nice sort of subtle tonal variation on the, uh, on the pelt of the coat as well, which is lovely. Moving around, you've got a bit of a blue tinge on the blade as well, which is really nice. Uh, and then obviously his lovely flying cloak there in a lovely sort of transitioning blue as well to complement the rest of the uh, the scheme. Obviously the banners on the back there, a little bit of a streaking just there just to show that they're like a material. And then obviously you've got those lovely details on that banner as well painted. And just to get this to focus even closer for you guys so you can see all of the little details. Uh, but again, really, really cool stoic defiant pose there. Uh, in a lovely fashion you've got every little gem and everything all painted there as you can see and i love on the gold work on the um on the model as well just been highlighted subtly as well to make it look a bit ancient uh, and so just obviously all their weapons being very 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 sort of old in their sort of age uh, but really really cool model uh, i do hope you like him then we have the autark on jet bike again a very cool model in that lovely yellow and blue complementary and scheme uh, all the little gems and lenses all painted on him as well on the bike as well with the control column and everything all done uh, with little details and things uh, you've got the land and transfers just on the uh, on the on the, the um, banners there on the back on his backpack uh, and again lovely lovely sort of stripe scheme across the uh, nose of that jet bike uh, the old jet bike still holding the test of time which is really nice as well so that's just him uh, up next we're gonna have a look at two fire prisms from the army or from this commission phase then we're back in a second to have a look at them in more detail see you guys back in a sec So next up we have the two fire prisms from this Yandan Craft World Elder Commission. Really, really cool models, the heavy hitters of the Elder Force. Uh, really cool tank, obviously, on that Elder Falcon Grav Tank chassis. Uh, we'll pull them forward, just have a look. Uh, Flesh has done a stellar job picking out all the little details and bits and bobs on these. Uh, but lovely, right from the get-go, just gets to focus for you guys so you can see in all its glory. Really vibrant, super, super contrasting yellow to blue scheme, obviously, with the Yandan. Uh, nice sectioning off of the different areas of the model, just obviously into the blue and yellow, respectively. Uh, but a nice complimentary red on all the gems. These are from the Command uh, Sprue as well, which is quite nice. Uh, moving around, really, really lovely overall finish on these as well. Uh, you've got all the little gems and everything point painted as well, which is lovely. The crew inside, just getting that to focus for you guys so you can see, apart from the reflection, but the screen styles, buttons, and the pilots are all painted to a lovely, lovely pristine finish as well on these guys. Uh, transfers and things added as well onto the various areas of the armor of the tank, which is lovely. And then moving around, you can see all that fine, crisp edge highlighting on all the armor panels as well, which is really, really nice as well. So that's just uh, the fire prisms. Obviously, they're both the same, so I won't pull forward the other one. But as you can see, the basing scheme, obviously, to match the rest of this force, obviously, some stones and tufts and bits and bobs, a sort of deserty kind of scheme as well, which is really, really lovely. Uh, so that's just the two fire prisms from the force, guys. We're back in a second to have a look at it all in its glory once again. So stick around. We're all coming back in a sec. So thanks for checking the video out, guys. I really do hope you like these Yandan Craft World Elder models and also the characters. I know Fletcher had a really good time working on them. If you are interested in a commission with us here at Siege Studios, then all you need to do very simply is head to the description of this video where the link, it says, get a quote. Click on that link. It takes you directly to the contact form on the Siege website. Complete that contact form by selecting the relevant drop-down options for your project from those available. And in the message section, include a list of models in our model list format, which is shown on there, and file it off to us to get a quote back from us. While you're here, do us a huge favor, 
subscribe to the channel just so you can keep up to date with every new video that we put up. If you do hit the bell icon, you will be notified of all the new videos that do go up. And also in the description of this video, you can find all the links to our social media, so Instagram, Twitter, and also Facebook. Go give us a like and follow respectively on those to keep up to date with all the other things that go on here at Siege and all different commissions and things that we do. Thank you ever so much for watching the video, guys. I really appreciate it, and I will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.